just pulled over the side of the road heading up to the farm I thought it was about time that I showed you what I love about this area so much so I'll just uh, flick around this is the valley pretty cool yeah Over there you can see the scary tree, that's one big dead tree on the hill. Pretty much I own everything to the right of that, if you, if you like, for 120 acres. Pretty beautiful land. So this is uh, sort of five, six, seven k's out of Dungog, the beautiful Dungog. Why wouldn't you live in this area if you could? Just fabulous. I want to give you a tour pretty breezy though so what I might do is uh, swing the camera around and uh, and then add some voiceover later uh, so I'll keep talking if it works it works and in the edit process if it doesn't then you will just get a voiceover okay so where I'm standing is pretty much uh, the corner of our house and uh, that's going to be a bit of the view showed you that from pretty much the street the street that I showed you earlier is about there so th that's the the view swinging south it goes up the hill and in fact uh, the top of that hill is where we wanted to build but we couldn't then I'll swing you around this way eventually we'll get stuck I'll better come back I think we'll get stuck because of the sun and Um, up there is the caravan, tucked up there. But this is the view, and, it, and this is just the view I love. I can't get enough of this. Love it, love it, love it. It's really breezy up on the hill. So um, I'm not sure whether you can see that our father trees are, are moving up there, but it's, uh, it's pretty windy up there. You certainly couldn't be filming up there today. But down here we seem to be a little bit um, protected. So this is hopefully where we're going to build our house. Um, next couple of weeks we'll have uh, machinery in here doing a driveway. Fingers crossed. And uh, we've still got some conversations to have, of course. Down there in the gully, so um, that's quite a steep gully down here. Uh, uh, there are meant to be koalas down there. I've, I've wandered down several, 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 several times. Never seen one, but apparently they're there, so... Um, we have to be a bit careful about them. Isn't that funny the way the world changes? It was only in the 1970s, I think, that they freed up koalas to cull, and they culled 600,000 of them. And now, of course, they're not only protected, but they're an endangered, endangered species. Uh, bless the little things. Um, I like them. I like the look of them. I don't like the sound they make, but I do like the look of them. So um, there you go. Uh, I'm going to take you into town now. Uh, about to go down the hill and um, I thought I'd give you a shot of Dungog and show you why I love Dungog so much. been running the brush cutter up to mark out where I'm hoping I'm going to put uh, a bit of a vineyard. Oh gosh, it's a bit of a trek up from there. It's about, uh, it's probably better part of half a K from the very bottom of where I want the vineyard. Oh, where I want the vineyard. It's, it sounds impressive. I like the sound of that. The idea is that we're going to put in two, uh, two plots of vines. Oh, because I like the look of vines. I think, I think vines are quite beautiful. 
So uh, we're going to do one quite close to the house and then one down a little bit further away, about 200 metres away, or about 150 metres away from the house. So, as you can probably feel, the sun's just about to go down. It was what a glorious day. Just incredible. Uh, we've had up here, we've had some freezing days. Uh, a day got as warm as 7 degrees. But today, it wouldn't have got below 9 and probably up towards 20 degrees. I've just been in a t-shirt all day, um, albeit working. What you can hear in the background is frogs. And I do love the sound of frogs. It uh, gives, me, uh, gives me a really good feeling that, uh, that what we're doing up here and what we're about to do up here is, is not only special but right. So a no-kill dynamic farm. It's going to be it's going to be lovely. A couple of animals, some chooks. Anna's dead keen to get a donkey. Uh, we'll probably have a couple of goats and a couple of sheep just to keep the grass down. Um, but with no intention of ever eating them, which uh, which to me sounds pretty reasonable. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like Dungog. I hope you've enjoyed the scenery that I've been up to, to uh, show you. Um, I love it. I get it that it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you've ever dreamt about coming to the country, uh, getting out of the city and coming to the country, then this is pretty special. See you soon. Mm -hmm.